Hello, I'm Joy Carpine Cazanti with the Washington State Department of Transportation. And I am in the Montlake neighborhood of Seattle today. And we are taking a closer look at the west side of the 520 corridor and discussing our plans for the new corridor between the floating bridge on Lake Washington and the I-5 interchange in Seattle. And I'm joined here today with Julie Meredith, who is the SR520 program director. Thanks, Joy. The SR520 corridor opened to drivers nearly 50 years ago. It was designed for different conditions in a different era. This means the existing highway has narrow shoulders, shorter merges, and no transit or HOV lane to keep the buses moving. In addition to the floating bridge, the 520 corridor also has two additional bridges, one over Portage Bay and another over Union Bay. These two bridges were built to older structural standards and are constructed on top of hollow columns that could collapse in an earthquake. Now, let's talk about how we plan to build the new 520 in Seattle. First, let's start with the section between the floating bridge and the Montlake Interchange. For this connection over Union Bay, we're actually building two parallel bridges, a north half that will carry westbound traffic and a south half that will carry eastbound traffic. Both bridges will have a transit and HOV lane, wider shoulders, and will be built to modern earthquake standards. In mid-2014, we'll start building the Northern Bridge, which we have received funding. We expect it will be complete by late 2016. And when we're finished, we'll have six lanes of traffic from the east side to Montlake, as well as the bicycle-pedestrian connection across the lake. We will remove some of the old R.H. Thompson ramps to nowhere and the Lake Washington Boulevard off-ramp. We'll treat stormwater in a new treatment pond near the old Museum of History and Industry site. We currently don't have funding to build the South Bridge. Until we do, eastbound traffic will remain on the existing SR520 bridge. Moving westward, we'll build a new Montlake interchange. It will reconnect the Montlake community and provide several key transportation benefits. The new Montlake LID will include connections between local and regional transit stops, including a quick connection from SR520 to the new Sound Transit University Link light rail station. It will also include bicycle and pedestrian paths from the Arboretum to Montlake and the University of Washington. North of 520, we are planning a second bridge over the Montlake Cut to connect transit and pedestrians to the new light rail station near the Husky Stadium. The next portion of the corridor is the Portage Bay Bridge. The new bridge will be built on solid columns and continue to carry four general purpose lanes and two HOV lanes of traffic between I-5 and the east side. The last major portion of the corridor is the 520 and I-5 interchange, which also includes a new lid supporting 10th Avenue and Del Mar Drive East. This lid will provide new open space, and to help keep buses moving, we're building a reversible transit HOV direct access ramp so that buses on 520 can reach the express lanes on I-5. When the new 520 corridor in Seattle is complete, we'll have a safer, more reliable corridor that provides better and more efficient connections for drivers, transit riders, bicyclists, and pedestrians. We're proud of our work with agencies and local communities to develop our plans for the new corridor, and we look forward to working with the Washington State Legislature to fund these critical safety and mobility projects. Thanks for joining us today to learn more about the SR520 program in Seattle. Stay tuned for more updates as our plans move forward.